In 2012, a five-year trial on the Waimati West demonstration farm in Taranaki showed that putting about 12% of a farmlet into crops increased its profitability by around 20% compared to a farmlet with no crops. A new trial on the same farm has increased the area in crops to 25% of the property and is showing positive results. The purpose of the farm, which has actually been here since 1917, so it's got a very long history, is to demonstrate modern farming techniques to provide information and demonstrate new modern techniques for the farming community for the benefit of the community, both locally and provincially and even nationally, to improve the lot for the farmers in the district and the nation. Well, the background is that most of the increase in production in the dairy industry over the last 15, 20 years has come about by bringing in feed onto the dairy farm platform. Now, a lot of farmers, and that suits farmers that have got runoffs, but a lot of farmers haven't got runoffs, only about a third of them have, and a lot of farmers aren't all that comfortable of going out to the market and being on the market buying, uh, being at the uh, vagaries of the market buying in feed. So this is looking at can we grow some of the feed that other farmers are buying in on the milking platform itself, turn it into extra production uh, and create extra profit and do it sustainably. The current trial is being funded through the MPI Sustainable Farming Fund and from Dairy NZ. They're the major funders. Foundation for Albor Research are also a funder as well as Balance Agri-Nutrients and we also have several sponsors which provide product to the farm which include Pioneer for the maize seed, we've got PGG Rights and Seeds, New Farm and Balance. This is actually the second stage, it's a new trial. The first trial was looking at growing 10% to 12.5% of the area in crops to create extra dry matter and that proved very successful and we thought, well, why only 10%? What if we step it up to 25%? Can we do even better still? And so this one's got 25% of the area grown in crops. The project has actually been expanded to include some commercial farms as well who grow crops on their dairy platform. There are three commercial farms involved and measurements are taken on those farms and the profitability of those farms are compared with the dairy race project compared with other farms of the similar size. After we'd learned how to manage the trial properly to increase production uh, up to over 300 kilograms per hectare of milk solids and uh, close to $1,000 a hectare in extra profit compared to a traditional all grass farming system because we had two farmlets and we were able to do that. One of the major learnings that we got from that trial was that while we were trying to maximise the amount of dry matter produced off the farm, it's also important to actually have a system that works. And while some of the crops we grew, for instance, like turnips and chicory, didn't perhaps meet the yield criteria that we'd set for ourselves, they are vitally important in terms of the system management of the farm throughout the season to provide dry matter in the summer autumn periods of the season while our high producing crops like maize were actually out of production for the milking herd at the time. So they are vital ingredients and learning how to incorporate that into a system was a, a real learning point for us that we felt we could pass on to farmers. It meant for us quite a change in philosophy on the farm in actual fact and we went away from having a control herd. We've got 40 paddocks on the farm so we had 10 of the paddocks which is 25% in crop and 30 in pasture. Uh, what it meant was in terms of changing philosophy, this farm traditionally has been a moderate to highly stocked farm with moderate to low per cow production. The type of system we were going into we believed had to turn that round to have lower stocking rates because we were feeding a lot more of concentrate feed grown on the farm so we needed to have a lower stocking rate to cope with so much crop out during the season and to do that we had to increase the body weight and condition score of our cows to be able to produce higher per cow to express the results. So that took a little bit of time so that was a, a challenge for us and it took some time to work through that. This is the third season of this project and we would like actually to extend it for a fourth season but at the moment the funding is for this is the last season of it. We, the reason we want to extend it is that it always takes a little bit of time to get into a, into a project. Uh, the first year was a drought which didn't help us a lot and we 
and we had a few other issues in the second year. This year is, um, I, we believe, the first year that we have actually got up and really running and also we've had the time to build up the body weight of the cows and the condition of the cows to a stage where they're producing at a level that's able to express the, the types of results we can believe that can come out of the system. So we're 210 hectares here. It's pretty much all effective, that area. We're looking at about 800 cows here and we're running a, probably a system four, so a reasonable amount of inputs going in here. 10% of the property is in crop at the moment. I have been higher about 15%, but I've got a bit of an inventory left over from last year, so I reduced it a bit this year. Changed the mix of crops slightly, um, just experimenting with fodder wheat this year. It's the first for me, but I was impressed with the yields they said they were getting, so the only way you can really find out is try it yourself. Yeah, that's a good one. The trials at the Dem Farm are really important to farmers like myself because it, it just shows how far we can push the boundaries essentially and the fact that, w that there we deliver the results as they come out. We're not uh, beholding to any sponsors or anything so what we get is what the people were reported on so you know a negative result is just as important as a positive one in terms of what farmers can take out of it. So that for me shows me just how far I can go here if I so wish and if it fits my system. To me, the great thing about growing crops that I've taken out of the trial is just the increased dry matter yields you can get off the farm. So I'm all about the, the yields rather than the mix of crops because I'm not restrained by trying to be self-contained. So things like um, protein that the Dem Farm will put in chicory to, to obtain, I can obtain that by buying in protein. And so I can grow higher yielding crops just to get the actual dry matter up. So cheaper dry matter and, and bulk amounts of it and then I'll just put the other stuff in off the market. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.